Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back. Uh, this is the 14th uh, lecture for the project management. 14th means you have already completed 2 weeks, 5 lectures e in each week and this is the, the, the last but one lecture for the third week which is the 14th one. So, as we were discussing I just uh, in the last uh, lecture which is the 13th one I just ended with a uh, 1 or 2 minute introduction about utility analysis and how it will have a sense about decision tree we will try to understand. So, let us start with the full vigor and full force about utility analysis. Consider the same type of construction project is being undertaken. Uh, now, we are coming into the realm of again project management even though I am trying to give you different examples but those concepts can be utilized in, in project management and other fields also. So, now uh, my, by more than one company who will consider who, who are considered in these projects and investors. Now, different investors considering the investing that money, time, energy, skill, everything have different attributes and risk perspectives for the same project. So, that is to say the project the each investor has him with him and her an opportunity set such as that based on the opportunity set the per particular group of persons or the individual persons or the investor who is trying to build up that project will make a decision. So, again concerning the dis continuing the discussion consider a shop floor manager has two different machines marked A and B both doing the same time of operations consider is a grinding machine both of them do the grinding work or considering the lathe machine they do the lathe work. Considering they are say for example, the CNC machine they do different type of jobs. The outcomes from the two mach different machines are given how let us see this table. So, in the investment process even though the heading means investment process I am considering the investment from the point of view of, a, of an investor or a uh, project manager. So, now the machines are A, B and if you see the first column which are the outcomes, the second column is PI is the corresponding probability, then you have the outcomes um, um, for in the third column. So, I am just using the word outcome, outcome basically means on the value sense not rupees, not dollars, not yens, it means something else, I will come to that. And the last column is, is related to again probability. So, the first two columns are specific to the machine A and the third and the fourth column are specific to machine B. In reality, what would the person do if he or she has two outcome sets in front of him or her? So, if I consider the outcome values as given 15, 10 and 15 for machine A and 20, 12 and 8 for machine B it technically means the values of the output, the so called utility of the output for machine A is 15 with a probability of 1 by 3. Similarly, for machine A for the second value whatever the value is, now the value is, is, is I am seeing what is coming out, I am not seeing what is going in. Like to give you a very simple example even though that would make sense later on if we continue the discussion of utility. Consider there are two human beings, one is a rich one and another is a poor person. So, the net worth of a 100 rupee note to person 1 who is rich and the net value of the 100 rupee note to a person who is poor has two different implications. So, the 100 rupees may only buy say for example, for the first person he or she would only buy a chocolate a set of cold drinks which is worthwhile to him or her, but while for the second person who is poor he would basically try to spend it on trying to buy some rice, some, some uh, pulses, some vegetables and, and milk or ghee whatever it is. 
So, that net worth of using a 100 rupees would be different for these two different persons. So, the values which are there 15, 10, 15, 20, 12, 8 are those values, what is the net worth, not the 100 rupees what we are trying to utilize. So, the corresponding probabilities are given that for 15, 1 third, 10, 1 third, 15, 1 third. Similarly, for the second uh, machine or second decision, it is 20, 1 third, 12, 1 third, 8, 1 third. Now, the question may arise that why did not I com com combine 15, 1 third and 15, 1 third. What you are seeing in front of you 15, 15 are the net output, but the equation based on which we are trying to find out may be such that the overall amount of input on a monetary sense for these two 15 may be different, even if the f of, f of x value what, what you are trying to get for these two equations which are there in front of you are the same. So, in reality what would the person do if he or she has two outcome sets in front of him or her. So, for A the net value would be found out multiplying by 15 into 1 third plus 10 into 1 third plus 15 into 1 third. So, you take 1 third outside is a common it will be 15 plus 15 30, 30 divided by, by plus a 10 which is 40, 40 divided by 3 would give you the value of 13.33. Similarly, if you do it for B again it is 20 plus 12 plus 8 which is again 40 divided by 3 because 1 by 3 is constant hence the values are 13.33 for both the cases which means that if you are trying to find out from the point of view of the so called picture which is given in front of you, you as a person would be so called indifferent between decision A and decision B or project A and project B. Now, let us pause here for 1 minute. The outcome values which are given in the first column and which are given in the third column may be specific to a person. Say for example, if I am trying to analyze the same, same problem from person 2 for the same type of inputs like consider this, the inputs for 15, 10, 15 for, for the project A and 20, 12, 8 for project B. Say for example, it is, let me give you some some values in the algebraic sense, no certain values, not 10, 20, 30, 40, so uh, not for that, but just to make you understand. If you input x1, you get 15 rupees, if you put x1, you get 20 for a and b. If you put x2, you get 10, if you put x2, you get 12, if you put x3, you get 15, if you put x3, you get 8. Now, these 15, 10, 15, 20, 12, 8 are for the first person. If a second person comes, if I try to analyze the problem in the same way where it is x1, x2, x3 for project A and project B, the outcomes need not be 15, 10, 15, 20, 12, 8 because that person will try to analyze this problem from his perspective for which the function and value or so called utility functions, we, we, I am mentioning the word utility functions for the first time may be different. So, in that perspective the problem would be framed accordingly. Now, let us change the probabilities. So, the probabilities are now 15, 10, uh, for 15, 10, 15 it is now 50 percent, 25 percent, 25 percent and outcome for the concept related to the decision B remains the same. So, in this case A would have an expected value of 13.75 and B would have an expected value of 13.33. So, I as a person who have in who has in front of him this set of values where the probability has changed now it is 13.75 A. So, hence I will take decision A. Let us extend, extend this problem to a second type of, of analysis, very simple analysis where there is a match, football match or cricket match whatever you think you, you are interested in. So, the outcomes are given as win draws loss and I am trying to analyze the position of two different teams. Let us name them as x and y. So, now due to some reason one of the, the organizers of the, of the match or this tournament had mentioned that the outcomes would be point accordingly, where a win will fetch 2, a draw a 1 and a loss 0 
while other organization due to some confusion said the wind would fetch 1, uh, uh, draw would fetch, uh, wind would fetch 5, sorry my mistake, a draw would fetch 1 and a loss would basically uh, fetch 0. So, in that case the point points earned are different and the wins and draws are different. So, if I try to basically bring that in the picture for case 1 and case 2 and try to compare team X and team Y based on case 1 and case 2, the situation is like this. In case 1 team A has 100, so how do I get 100? I multiply the probabilities and the points, B has 95 which means that A has a ranking higher than B and A would win. Suddenly, the organization took, uh, organizer 2 comes huffing and puffing and he or she says no, 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 the, the point system is different based on case 2. If I do the point system as given, then in that case team A has 220 and team B, team B has 230. Hence, again the trophy would now be given to the other team which is B, which is definitely not expected, but that is the confusion which may create if we have different type of point system for the same type of concept which we are trying to analyze. So, on a general framework, we have been mentioning that try to find out the summation of the probabilities, multiply the values and, and such equations. So, generally the, the concept of, of utility and the value of expected value of a utility is given by this. So, if you see UW is first, let me clarify it, it means the utility for the net investment W, W is in rupees or dollars, so that would always be positive. U suffix W is the utility which is the net out effect which is happening by investing W and the second term which is a ratio of, uh, with, with N W in the numerator and summation of M, N W in the denominator, it basically means the probability. So, the probabilities which you saw one third, one third, one third or in the other problem for the machine, it was half, one fourth, one fourth and, and so on for these other examples. That means, in the denominator you have the total number outcomes and in the numerator you have that particular outcome for which the utility is given as UW. So, as W changes, UW changes, as W changes you will have different out number of outcomes corresponding to that you will find out different probabilities. So, technically the equation which you have on, on, on and with its right hand side, the term which is the last which is NW divided by summation of NW is basically the probability distribution corresponding to the occurrences of any particular decision for different outputs. Output means different outcomes which are happening. Here UW is the utility which is a function of the wealth while NW is the number of outcomes with respect to a certain level of income. Remember in general utility functions cannot be negative, but in many functions may take negative values. We will try to skip that and put 0 for negative values. Now, if you remember, let me uh, pause here one minute, go back to the drilling problem. In one of the drilling problems, the value was coming out to be negative, if you remember that. So, in that case we could also have taken a value of 0 and, and, and uh, proceeded with our calculations. But the la lucky part was that if there is no drill that one arm was 0 and in this case where it was a negative part it was also 0. So, in any case it is 0 in both the cases whether you take the negative sense or uh, the 0 value for the net outcome. For analysis, we will make the problem simple, we, we will consider the value to be 0 even though in actuality it, it is negative. Let us consider so called a third um, explanation or different time to explain the concept. Consider an example where a single individual is facing the same sort set of outcomes at any instant of time, but we try to analyze his or her expected value based on the ut utility function. But let us for the time being and this is the first time we are trying to do that for explanation. We will consider different examples later on where the utility functions are different. In bullet point 1, the utility function is simply a linear equation W and this bracket 1 means the, uh, the for the equation plus 1 and the second bullet point is a quadratic one that is W 2 square 2 in the bracket square 
plus W 2. So, you have the outcomes again. Now, outcomes are so called the numbers based on this, not the outcome values, they are the outcome numbers. So, they are given in the first column. Then in the second and the third and the fourth, it is corresponding to utility 1, the values on investment W, that means 1 rupee, 2 rupee, 3 rupee and, and so on and so forth. While U W 1 is given in the third column corresponding to the, the W values, how you find out the utility. And the fourth column P W or the probability is corresponding to the outcomes which you have. So, if you find out the total sum here, in this case, this one, I will just highlight, highlight in the sense just found out using utility function 2. So, in for the first case it will be what 1.5 square plus w 2 that is 2.25 plus 1.5 you will basically have 3.75. Similarly, if I find out for 2, 2 square is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. So, I find out all the values the corresponding probabilities remain the same. Accordingly, we find out the expected value. How do we find out the expected value? It will be this into this plus this into this till the last term this into this sum them up. Similarly, for utility 2 it is 3.75 into 0.15 continue doing this till the last term which is 30 into 0.25 add them up. I have the expected value is 3.82 second one is 12.69. So, we have a different decision based on the fact that we have somebody is using utility function 1 or utility function 2. Continuing with a different uh, ideas for the utility functions, again two different utility functions. First is again linear w1 minus 5, second one is basically a nonlinear function, not quadratic. The outcomes are given, the wealth w is given, and utility is given. So now, uh, and, and the utility for the first one and second one is given, this is the third uh, and the fourth column. Now, what is too interesting to note is that the last two columns basically mentions decision A and decision B, which means that whether the outcomes are specific to decision A or specific to decision B, it can be possible that for one of, 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 the, of the projects that if I am trying to basically build up a project in, in, the, in, uh, in the state of Assam, I may get some tax benefit. So, that would basically be coming into the picture. So, how I do that from the outcome perspective, I will consider that. So, for the decisions A, the first one is A, next two is no, then the, the next two next two after the no's is again two yeses and then a no. For decision B is no, yes, yes, no, no, yes. If I find try to find out the utility concept using uh, A for uh, utility function 1, sorry, let me put it not A, 1, for decision A and B, it becomes like this. Now, if you see it, if utility function is basically 0, why? Because if I put 4, 4 minus 5 is minus 1, we will consider it is negative being 0. So, we will put it 0. If it is 5, 5 minus 5 is 0, it is 0. So, based on that, we find out this calculation. Now, if I do it for utility 2, it is basically 2 into 4 minus 4 to the power 1.25. We I find out these values. Now, for decision is yes and no's are given, yes and no's are given. How do I utilize? Consider the first term. This is the utility value which is coming from here 0 and why this term 8 divided by 8 plus 6 plus 9? Because out of the outcomes, if you see yes, this is yes this is yes and this is yes. That means, 8 divided by the total numbers which is 8 plus 6 plus 9. 
Similarly, for the second one which is yes is 2 utility multiplied by 6 divided by 8 plus 6 plus 9. For the last one which is yes is 3 and what is the corresponding probability of that is 9 divided by 8 plus 6 plus 9. It comes to 1.69. Similarly, if I do for B which is for this function uh, for this decision sorry for the utility 1. So, it will be yes here. So, 0 into 3, 0 into 3 and divide by what? So, what are the yeses? 1, 2, 3, this is 3, 4 and 5. So, here you see 3, 4, 5. If I continue doing it, it will be 1 into 4, that means yes, 1 into 4 divided by 3 plus uh, 4 plus 5 and the last one is 4 into 5 divided by 3 plus 4 plus 5. I have 1.692. For utility 2, again I do the same calculations, I find out 2.5, 2.5. So, what is interesting to note is that again type of problem which we did for the football game or the cricket game match. So, if I try to use, use utility function 1, then I would definitely rate decision B to be better than decision A. But in case if I am trying to utilize utility function 2, then you will see the both the values are 2.5. That means, I am indifferent based on the utility I am using. So, I, am, I would basically take either A or B. So, consider a very simple example. A venture capitalist is considering two possibilities of investment, consider they are projects. The first alternative is buying government treasury bills which cost buying is also a pro project. If I mention the project is a, in a very big sense an example. So, which costs 6 lakhs while the second alternative has 3 possible outcomes which are costing 10 lakhs, 5 lakhs, 1 lakhs with corresponding probability of 20 percent, 40 percent, 40 percent. Consider the utility is quadratic. So, in the first example alternative has a utility value of 776. So, why it is 776? Government, government treasury bills do not have any risk which means probability is 1. So, if I want to find out the expected value, it will be square root of 6 lakhs multiplied by 1, which will give me a value of 776. So, if you can find it out uh, for you through calculations. Again, I am mentioning the first decision would have the expected value as square root of 6 lakhs. Why square root? Because the utility function is w to the power half. And why multiplied by 1? Because it is a treasury bill, which is a probability of 1. If I come to the second decision, what are the outcomes? There are three outcomes, 20 percent, 40 percent, 40 percent. What are the values? Values are in monetary, monetary sense are 10 lakhs, 5 lakhs, 1 lakhs. What are the corresponding utility? It is square root of 10 lakh in the first case, square root of 5 lakh in the second case and square root of 1 lakh in the third case. So, the expected value would be square root of 10 lakh multiplied by 0 0.2 square root of 5 lakh multiplied by 0.4, square root of 1 lakh multiplied by 0.4. So, do the calculations yourself and find out the value comes out to be 609. So, hence the first alternative is chosen. Now, let us mention few things. If you change the utility, make it say for example, w to the power ha, uh, 1 fourth or w square or w cube or w to the power 2 third, whatever it is you will find out the corresponding utility functions are changing. Hence, the expected value of the utility would also change. Say for example, it is w square. So, in that case w square it will be square of this value multiplied by 1 for the first decision. For the second decision it will be sum of three terms. What are the terms? The first value of w square multiplied by 20 percent or 0 0.2, 5 lakh which is the w value for the second outcome in that decision square into 40 percent and the third one is 1 lakh square into 40 percent. So, you can find it accordingly and compare them. So, uh, for the above problem, the question definitely comes is that if we had used a utility function which is of the value of w to the power half plus a constant c value, would it change the, the overall outcome? Answer is no, because w is there which is fixed fixed means in the sense the functional form is fixed, then we will have basically the value of c being coming into the picture which would have basically no effect in the calculations accordingly. So, now consider a security investment, 
the price of the security fluctuates in such a way that it is given by log of the prices. So, log of the prices gives you the total um, <coughs> utility. Number of days is given on, on, a, on a simulation sense. Prices have been, say for example, 1000 for how many number of outcomes for out of those 100 days is 35. Price is 19 to 25 of how many days is 5 days. And the corresponding utility is based on the fact that you find out log of 1000 6.91, log of 950 is 6.89, 6.86 6 and so on and so forth on which are the prices given on the second um, uh, column and the, and the utility in the third column. Outcomes are given, find out the probability, find out the expected value as given in the formula, utility multiply the probability, sum them up and the value is 6.91. If the utility function is p to the power 0.25, the corresponding uh, utility function comes out to be, value comes out to be 33.63. Now, we will basically uh, mention three properties of utility. So, the first concept is more you get, more you want, which is the concept of non satiation, which may not be true in the actual sense. So, if I basically try to give an example why it is not uh, true in the actual sense, let us consider a very uh, simple uh, example, which may not make much sense from the theoretical point of view of project management, or, but it will definitely give you some idea. Say, for example, uh, one person likes uh, sweets. And early in the morning, I give that person, he is very hungry, he or she is very hungry, I give him or her um, three sweets. The person is very happy, eats it up and is uh, really satisfied. So, again I, I ask this person, would he or she try to like to have more sweets? Person says, yes, I give him or her the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. And each time the person relishes and takes it. Now, consider after the tenth one, the person's actual appetite has become zero. That means, he or she is totally full, cannot take any more sweets and it has become very sweety uh, for, the, for that person and the person's stomach is full. So, in that case, when I, when I offer him or her the eleven sweets, the person would try to say definitely or no, even though the person likes sweets, which means the overall benefit or the person had in trying to consume the sweets. Benefit can be taste buds were, were titillating, the person was very hungry and such examples. So, for the eleventh one, the person says no, which means the utility value net worth the person is ga gaining by consuming each one extra unit of sweets like trying to invest is now slowing out to be coming out to be negative, which we would not consider for the concept of non satiation. So, it gives the definition that the first restriction placed on the util function is that more is always preferred to less. This means that between two certain investment, we will always take the case where the util function for w plus 1 would be positive and greater with respect to u w, which means the first derivative is 0. The second one is that we consider the investors or the decision makers perception of absolute risk to be based on three facts. One is concept of risk aversion, next is the concept of risk neutrality and the third is the concept of risk seeking. So, let us consider that with a simple example. So, consider the person uh, I am trying to basically play a game with you and there are two outcomes. There is the, the coin which is the actual Indian uh, unbiased. 5 rupees coin and the probabilities are half and half and consider you invest something and the outcomes are you get 2 outcome 2 that means the net value which you get 2 with probability half and another you do not get anything and it is half. So, that means you invest some amount of money and the net outcome is 2 with probability half and you invest some amount of money the net value is 0 with probability half. In the other case, you consider the Shole coins. I am sure all of the participants must have seen the famous Amitabh Bachchan film Shole, where the coin basically had the heads on both sides. So, consider uh, you toss that coin and the investment which you do gives you a value of 1 with probability 1. So, if you consider these two examples, 
it means that the expected value in both the cases are 1, 1 into 1 is 1, 2 into half plus 0 into half is 1. Now consider this is the fair gamble, let us now slowly change the stake. In case of the coins they remain the same, but let us consider that the overall value which you are getting is not 2, not 1 or not 0, 0 remains 0, but this value now becomes 20,000, this value becomes uh, 10,000. So, in this case the expected value remains the same because 20,000 into half plus 0 into half on one side and 1, one 10,000 into one, uh, 1 on the other side. What is interesting to note is that as I keep increasing the stakes at some point of time, there I will find out a person in the initial case was definitely aiming for this. At some other stage, at some other value, person would be indifferent between these two decisions. And in the third case, the person in the, as I increase the stake, the person would definitely switch on to the deterministic sense, which means that the concept of risk aversion, risk liking, risk different per indifferent concept would be based on the fact what is the utility function, what is the amount of money which is being invested and how the situation is being handled. With this, I will close the 14th lecture and continue with the discussion of utility analysis with more examples to come and it is relevant to the project management. Have a nice day. Thank you.